2024 Hyundai Santa Fe petrol V6 replaced by two 5T as hybrid remains. Santa Fe will arrive in Australia in 2024. Some two years after category leader Toyota dropped its brand new Kluger into the burgeoning large SUV sector. While final specs are yet to firm up ahead of its launch, locally delivered Hyundai Santa Fe's are likely to utilize a 422 Newton meters turbocharged 2. 5-litre four-cylinder engine from the Sonata as the headline powertrain, the spec sheet suggests the 2. 1-ton Santa Fe will hit 100 km per hour in 8, 0 seconds. The petrol engine is good for 260, 5Nm and expected gearbox-mounted electric motor to raise combined outputs near or above the existing car's 350Nm figure. The supplied specs confirm a 6, 5L, 100 km efficiency rating. However, there are a couple of notable omissions from the Santa Fe specification sheet both the 2, 2-litre turbo diesel and 3, 5-litre naturally aspirated V6 powertrains present in the current Santa Fe will not be available. In the 2020 for Santa Fe, the second row legroom has increased by 35mm, to 1,075 millimeters and by 20 millimeters to 1,055 millimeters. In the hybrid equipped version, third row legroom, meanwhile, has increased by 15 millimeters to 761 millimeters. Hyundai is also claiming best in class third row headroom as well, with the third row headroom's height lifting by 69 millimeters to 958 millimeters. It is also claimed that the Santa Fe's luggage capacity is up by 91 litres, while tailgate opening width jumps by 125 millimetres. Inside 12, 3-inch screens mounted side by side on a sweeping curved binnacle, while the electronic gear shifter has been relocated behind the steering wheel. The high-spec version used for press images sported heated seats, push-button start, multi-zone climate control and a digital rear-view mirror that can be used when visibility via the traditional glass mirror is compromised. Pricing hasn't been divulged for the 2020 for Hyundai Santa Fe, but it's reasonable to expect that they will increase from their present position. Given the increase in specification, new powertrains and increased production costs. For example, the one 6-litre HEV equipped, a WD Highlander currently costs $69.500 plus AUX, while the base model V6 FWD starts at $46,050 plus ORCs.